With more than 8.7 million species thought to exist on our planet, scientists estimate that it would take hundreds or even thousands of years, while the vast majority are, in fact, small insects and bugs. The biggest insect emergence on the planet is underway that aren't wildly different from one another, there's still an incredible range of different creatures, many of which you've probably never heard of before. We've searched high and low for the greatest of them all, so get ready to meet 15 incredible animals you should know about. <sighs> Number 15. Hairless Bear when you think of a bear, you normally imagine a giant mammal with sharp claws and, most importantly, a thick coat of fur. While this may be true for most, there's one that looks entirely different. Dolores, the hairless bear. And she's lost her hair because of the stress. Unsurprisingly, given her name, this bespeckled bear, who was kept in captivity in a zoo in Leipzig, Germany, suddenly lost all of her body hair. And she's not the only one. In fact, all of the female bears in her enclosure have suffered the same fate, and vets are at a loss to explain the reason behind it. They have also developed rashes and sores on their skin, and there's a real concern about how they'll cope during colder months when the species rely on their thick covering to keep them warm. There's a suggestion it could be because of an illness that's passed between them, or a genetic defect, as they all come from the same bloodline. But for the moment, all the keepers can do is try to take care of them as best they can, and hope that it isn't a lifelong condition. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or Slenderman will come from under your bed when you're sleeping. Number 14. The Pink Fairy Armadillo there are 21 different known species of armadillo in the world, each of which has a leathery armor shell and sharp claws for digging. But there's one that's native to the sand dunes and grasslands of central Argentina that look very different to the rest, the pink fairy armadillo. Oh, no, no, okay. ah. That's because, around their armor, they have tufts of pinkish white fur. But quite why this adaptation has developed is not entirely clear. They're also the smallest species of armadillo, growing to up to 4.5 inches long. And the suspicion is that the fur is used to help these tiny creatures survive in the hostile environment where they live. They are nocturnal animals, which hide in their burrows during the day when it's extremely hot outside. But when they emerge at night, the temperatures plummet. The fur could be a primitive method of thermoregulation, which helps them to retain their body heat while they're outside. But it's hard to know for sure because they are very rarely seen. Unfortunately, due to their unique appearance, they are popular for collectors and, as a result, are considered to be near-threatened. Until we know more about their life cycles and behaviors, it's almost impossible to take steps to help conserve their population numbers. So this is one species of armadillo that could soon find itself becoming extinct. Number 13. The Blue Dragon there's no doubt that the oceans are full of glorious, colored, and stunning creatures. But perhaps the most incredible looking of all is the blue dragon. It's actually a species of sea slug that grows to just 1.2 inches long. But if you ever see one of these floating in the waves, don't even think for a moment that it's a good idea to try and pick it up. Their rich blue coloration is actually a kever camouflage technique. Living throughout the oceans of the world, they float upside down. So to any predators swimming below, low, they blend in with the blue color of the surface and the sky. They drift on the currents, always in search of food. But their favorite thing to eat is one of the ocean's most deadly creatures, the Portuguese man o' war. Not only are they immune to its toxic sting, but they actually absorb the venom and store it in their extremities. Because of this, they too are able to inflict a serious amount of pain on anything that tries to catch them, and in humans, can lead to nausea, pain, vomiting, and and extreme allergic reaction. Number 12. The Paku Paku fish, which can be found in freshwater regions of South America, are close relatives to piranha. Get that thing. Yes. Yes. Oh my god. But instead of having razor sharp and deadly teeth, this species has a mouth that's frightening in a whole different way. Oh. 
Growing to around 3.5 feet long and weighing up to 90 pounds, they feed on small insects and other fish, and are famous for their ability to jump out of the water to grab low-hanging nuts and fruit from riverside trees. When they open their mouths, however, their teeth are squarer and straighter than any other fish, and they look incredibly similar to human teeth. In fact, the resemblance is so undeniable that locals have long told stories about how they are actually the spirits of humans who have been trapped in fish form and have a particularly aggressive demeanor. Oh, and that, that actually, just take a look at that as I lifted it out. Because these dentures have developed to help them crush hard nuts and berries, they can cause serious damage if they bite down on a finger, for example, and have also been associated with a fondness of targeting a different type of low-hanging fruit that is available if a human was to go swimming in the river. Number 11. The Slow Loris The jungles of Southeast Asia are teeming with life, but possibly the cutest animal of them all is the Slow Loris. There are eight different species of these tree-dwelling primates, which are distinctly related to lemurs. They are the only known species of primate, and one of very few mammals, that have a toxic bite. Strangely, this toxin isn't actually produced in their mouths, and actually comes from a sexual gland in their armpits that they lick. But once it mixes with the saliva, it activates. It isn't used for hunting, though, and is instead a means of defense. They will bite predators, and the pain they inflict will hopefully deter any future attacks, while they'll also cover their fur with it to add an extra level of protection. Slow lorises are said, in legend, to have supernatural powers, and are believed to be able to ward off evil spirits and help with the healing of wounds. They are, therefore, used in traditional medicines, and this is one reason why some species have been hunted to the brink of extinction. Number 10. The Angora Rabbit Rabbits come in all different shapes and sizes, but if you're after the most extravagant breed, then you need look no further than the Angora rabbit. Native to Turkey, they're actually one of the oldest types of rabbit to have been kept in domestic settings, and are highly sought after because of their unusually long fibers which, instead of being like fluff, are much more like wool. They grow huge tufts of it, so much so that it even hangs off the top of their ears. But amazingly, because of its structure, they don't trigger allergies like other types of rabbits do. There are actually 11 different recognized types of Angora rabbit, each of which have been bred in different parts of the world, also as well as providing an anti-allergenic option as a pet. They're also reared for their wool, which can grow by as much as an inch or two per month. These ones are regularly shorn, providing up to 18 ounces of wool each time, and this is used in the creation of garments and other products in exactly the same way sheep's wool is. Number 9. The Bearded Vulture Bearded vultures, which are also called lammergeiers, are a bird of prey that's native to Europe, Africa, India, and Tibet. These stunning birds can grow to up to 49 inches tall, with a massive wingspan in excess of 9 feet, and can weigh anything up to around 19 or 20 pounds. Oh, oh, oh. Unusually for a vulture, they don't have a bald head and are covered in feathers and fur all over. The most standout feature of the species, though, is, of course, the short black tufts that droop from their mouths and look like beards, and their vibrant orange plumage that surrounds their necks. They are a scavenger species, and fly up high and use their powerful eyesight to spot carcasses below. They eat mainly mammals, but will also eat birds or reptiles, but will generally avoid feasting on the remains of larger animals like cows or deer. Due to extreme changes in their habitats, and because they have been extensively hunted by humans, bearded vultures are one of the most vulnerable bird species in Europe. There are only thought to be several thousand breeding pairs left in the wild, and there are now active programs dedicated to trying to return them to areas where they once thrived. Number 8. The Axolotl Almost all species of amphibians start off their lives in a larval stage that metamorphose into their adult version. But there's one that bucks this trend, the axolotl.
also known as the Mexican walking fish. They are native to several lakes and underground regions near Mexico, and since they were first discovered, have been somewhat of a biological curiosity. Because they never change, the adults retain their gills, but they will quite happily walk between water and land. Meaning if you ever want to keep one of these as a pet, you need to provide wet and dry areas for them in the tank. The Aztecs used to eat them, and they were also sold as food in Mexican markets until a few decades ago. But now their numbers in the wild have plummeted to such an extent that some researchers believe they may already be extinct. There are still plenty in captivity though, and they've become an increasing interest in the world of medicine thanks to the fact that these creatures are able to regenerate virtually every part of their bodies, including their arms, their tails, and even their internal organs. Number 7. Giant Isopod Living at depths of between 550 and 7,020 feet, there are at least 20 different species of giant isopod, and they can be found in any of the oceans around the world. Usually, these types of animals wouldn't grow any larger than 2 inches long, but in the cold, dark depths, these ones can become up to 10 times that. This is because of a phenomenon known as deep sea gigantism, which sees some species that live in these parts of the ocean become supersized. It's not fully understood why this happens, but it's thought to be because of the lack of predators combined with the animals need to be able to ingest as much food as they possibly can when it's available because they might go for a long time until they can eat again. The closest dry land relative to a giant isopod is a woodlouse, and they behave in very similar ways. They both curl up into a ball when they feel threatened, have almost identical eye structures, and feed on any detritus they can find. Number 6. Indonesian Mimic Octopus Octopuses are some of the most intelligent and unusual creatures that live in the oceans, but there's one species in particular that uses deception to a much greater degree than any other, the Indonesian Mimic Octopus. Found in the waters of the Indo-Pacific, they can grow to up to 2 feet long, and were only first discovered in 1998. Like all octopuses, they have chromatophores all over their bodies that enable them to change color. And while they use this to blend into whatever environment they're in, this species takes this ability to a whole different level. The main use of this camouflage is, of course, to avoid being caught. But to do this, the mimic octopus can actually make itself look like a completely different species of animal to deter predators. The choice isn't random either, and shows a remarkable level of intellect. Say, for example, one was at risk from an approaching damselfish. It can quickly make itself appear to be a banded sea snake, which is a species that hunts damselfish and will be able to escape. From their knowledge of the sea, they actively decide which form of mimicry will work best to achieve their aims, and it's thought likely they do this when hunting too. Number 5. Saharan Silver Ant there are more than 12,000 different ant species that we know of, with a range of different shapes and sizes, and while they're often thought as being some of the strongest creatures on Earth in comparison to their body size, there's one that holds the record for being one of the fastest. Saharan silver ants, which are unsurprisingly found in the Sahara Desert, are able to run at speeds of up to 2.2 miles per hour. They can tolerate temperatures that would kill any other land animal. While this might not sound so impressive at first, when you take into account the fact that they are only 7 millimeters long, it means they can cover the distance of 108 body lengths in a second. In human terms, for someone who's 6 foot tall, this would be the equivalent of running at almost 450 miles per hour. There's a reason for this high speed though, and it's down to the extremely hot environment where they live. The ants are only able to be outside of the nest for 10 minutes per day, so they need to get as much work done as possible before returning to the cooler underground refuge. Number 4. Pit Viper 
Pit vipers are the most deadly snakes on Earth and can be found throughout the world with 151 known different species. They adapt to their environments, so while you may encounter one in a jungle that's particularly suited to the moist ground that's covered in plant life, you're just as likely to find a close relation that's ideally suited to living in the desert. All pit vipers are carnivorous, and they have potent venom that they use to hunt their prey. Which is risky because its victim may not go down without a fight. They hide away until a suitable target passes by and then strike, injecting powerful toxins into their victim and then stalk it for as long as it takes before it weakens and can be eaten. Depending on where they live, their diet can be different, but usually includes small mammals, rodents, and birds. They're responsible for the majority of attacks on humans, and by far the most deaths each year. Which means that if you ever encounter one, the wisest thing would be to run away as fast as possible and never look back. Number 3. The Amazon River Dolphin the Amazon River Dolphin and its surrounding rainforest is one of the most biodiverse regions in the world. There are a number of creatures that you'll only find there, and one of the most special is the Amazon River Dolphin. They are the largest species of river dolphin, growing to up to 9 feet long and weighing in excess of 400 pounds. Their body shape isn't exactly what you would draw if you were trying to depict a dolphin. These animals have huge brains, they're really intelligent. But the thing that makes them stand out the most is their color. Instead of being bluish gray like most others, these ones take on an unusually pink hue when they reach adulthood, which is why they're also commonly called pink river dolphins. It's not clear why they've developed this coloration, because it certainly doesn't help with camouflaging in the river water. Instead, could it be due to their wide-ranging diet, which includes a wide range of different fish, as well as turtles and crabs? A lot of what they eat contains red pigment, so it's thought that once they absorb enough, it is added to the pigmentation of their skin. Number 2. The Ely Pika Native to regions of northwest China, the Ely Pika was only first discovered in 1983, but because they're incredibly rare, it would be another 30 years before another was seen. It's thought that there are fewer than a thousand of them in the wild, and due to habitat destruction, they're considered at extreme threat of extinction within the next decade. Looking like a short-eared rabbit, they grow to around 8 inches long and weigh up to half a pound. Surprisingly, they have bright colored hair and red spots across their bodies, and they survive on a diet made up of herbs, grasses, and other plants. Ely Pika live on the sides of mountains, at altitudes between 9 and 14,000 feet. As they're so rarely seen, very little is known about their lives. We have no idea how many natural predators they have, for example, and how the increased use of their habitats as farm or ranch land is affecting their ability to breed and survive. It's hoped that with increased conservation efforts, we may finally learn more about these mysterious animals, and that this will help keep them around for many generations to come. Number 1. Basilisk Lizard if you've ever wanted to be able to walk on water, but had resigned yourself to the fact that it's something that only religious icons and magicians are able to do, then you'll definitely want to know about the Basilisk Lizard, a species that's found near the rivers and streams of the rainforest in South America. With a distinctive fin-like crest along their backs, they can grow to a total length, including their tails, of around 2.5 feet. It has nothing to do with the feeding habits of the basilisk but only weigh 10 to 12 ounces. This means that they have a unique way of being able to escape danger, because they'll start running towards the water's edge and will keep going across the surface. When running on the water, they can maintain a speed of up to 15 miles per hour, and this is all possible because of some unique adaptations. They only run on their rear legs, and they have enlarged feet that increase the surface area that makes contact with the water. Furthermore, they also have flaps of skin around their toes, and this enables them to capture air bubbles beneath. In a way, this creates a cushion of air between them and the water's surface, in a similar way to how a hovercraft works. But it's not something that lasts indefinitely. They'll only be able to run like this for 6 to 10 feet, and then will start to sink, having to swim the rest of their way to safety. Which of these were the most surprising to you? And had you heard or even seen any of them before? Make sure to let us know in the comments section. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!